Y'all, we're making pumpkin bread. Come on. Welcome to Highfalutin Low Carb, the almost weekly web series where we find and test the best low carb recipes this crazy internet has to offer. Today, we're tackling low carb pumpkin bread. Stay tuned. All right, guys, low carb pumpkin bread. Can it be done? Well, it's fall, y'all, so it's time to find out. Uh, we're gonna test two very popular recipes for keto pumpkin bread. The first of those is Easy Keto Pumpkin Bread. This is by the website healthyrecipesblogs.com. And the second recipe is Keto Pumpkin Bread, and this is by the website greenandketo.com. And when I say that these are the most popular, one of these has all oh, like seven or 800 reviews and is five stars. One of these has 4,500 reviews views and is almost five stars. So I'm anxious to try these out. But before we begin, I need to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Green Chef. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company with meal plans to fit a variety of different lifestyles. For me, I choose their keto meal plan, but they also have delicious dishes for a variety of lifestyles, including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and again, keto for us folks. It's nice to have a fridge full of delicious meals that are ready to go. Now, the recipes are usually quick and easy, and there's a step-by-step -step instruction guide. You get a card with chef tips and photos to sort of guide you along the way. And what's nice is you really learn uh, how to combine flavors and textures that you probably wouldn't have gotten otherwise that you can then take and use in other dishes that aren't from Green Chef. So one of our favorite meals this week was the cumin spiced shrimp. Do y'all say cumin or cumin? I say cumin. Uh, this thing has roasted veggies and then you top it with cotija cheese and this beautiful creamy chimichurri sauce that's already prepared for you and ready to go. And then uh, the nice little toasted pepitas that are going top. This thing was delicious. And I'm really kind of understanding now that I, I really enjoy their seafood options. What's nice is that these uh, are all packaged and, and portioned out and ready to go. And often the sauces and seasonings are prepared for you already so that you, you, you can skip a step there and, and just get a meal on the table pretty quickly. Green Chef, thank you for sponsoring this video. It's sponsorships like yours that keep channels like mine on the air and for that I am truly appreciative. So guys, be sure to use the link down below and you'll get $125 off across your first four Green Chef boxes and free shipping on that first box. I say it often, uh, sponsorships aren't why I do this, they are how I do this. So thank you so much guys. Be sure to check it out down below. All right, let's go make some pumpkin bread. All right, guys, let's get started on our first recipe. This is Easy Keto Pumpkin Bread by the website uh, healthyrecipesblogs.com. Be sure to check the links. They'll be written on the screen here. They'll also be in the video description and the pinned comment below. Now, this is gonna start with some canned pumpkin puree and uh, most recipes, because of the, the amount of moisture in a fresh uh, cooked pumpkin, you'd have to cook it down a lot. You can do that and she gives instructions, but I'm gonna follow her recommendation just to use canned pumpkin. And when you're at the store, make sure that you are only buying 100% pumpkin puree and not pumpkin pie mix. The labels often look exactly the same, just a little bit of wording difference, and they're generally sold right beside each other. So just be sure you're picking up the right can because the other one is full of sugar, and we just want pure pumpkin so we can control that. So to our pumpkin puree, we're gonna add Obviously you see three eggs here, and these are at room temperature. And she said to use a hand whisk and just get all this moving. Um, she calls for either liquid stevia glycerite, I believe it is, the glycerin-based stevia, which I don't have, or she said you can use uh, a small amount and uh, half a cup of granulated sweetener. So I'm gonna use swerve sweetener because that's the, it'll be the same in both recipes. And also to this, we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract. So in that goes. So let's just give all this a good mix until we're, uh, we've got this combined. And now I've gone ahead and sifted my almond flour, okay? <laughs> sift y'all, be sure to sift your almond flour. Um, but I went ahead and did that off camera just to save a little time. Now, before we add that in, we're gonna add in our cinnamon. This is quite a bit of cinnamon. And in that goes. Oh, it smells so good already. And this was, this is pretty liquidy with all those eggs. If you ever notice that cinnamon is, uh, powdered cinnamon, ground cinnamon is hard to mix into a liquid. 
it's like it's hydrophobic. It doesn't want to, it doesn't want to, um, mix with the liquid. All right. So to this, we're going to add in again, this is almond flour. Um, and if you're wondering why uh, I don't give exact amounts, um, if you're new here, uh, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Uh, these aren't my recipes. I'm just here to test them. Uh, the people that did create the recipes, they deserve the traffic. So be sure to visit the links down here on the screen. You'll have full links to all the ingredients and everything you'll need to make these. So we're going to gradually add this in. And she said, it's eventually going to get too thick and you're gonna have to switch to a spatula. So we'll see how far we can get with a, with a whisk without it just getting too cakey. I want to gradually add that in. All right, I'm gonna switch over now. Spatula also lets you get down the sides really good. So we're just gonna keep adding this in until all of this is incorporated. Okay, I've got some final mixing to do, but I need to add in baking soda, not baking powder, baking soda, and a little pinch of, um, of uh, sea salt. So make sure that baking soda really gets incorporated well and evenly. And now we're gonna put this in a, um, it's a eight and a half by four and a half inch loaf pan which I actually happen to have. It's a little bit smaller than a nine by five. And um, I have already taken the liberty of greasing it with avocado oil spray, as she mentioned. So I did the pan and now I just need to do the, the inside of the parchment. And then hopefully this will allow us to use the handles of the parchment paper, right? To lift our final baked bread out of there because it has to cool. As you know, uh, keto and low carb baked goods tend to crumbly, be crumbly when they're cool. They need to, to sort of come to uh, cool off and to room temperature. I mean, when they're warm, they're crumbly and they need to get to room temperature. You know what I'm saying? So in our loaf pan, this goes, hopefully I didn't put too much oil in there and then smooth out the top. And hopefully this rises beautifully and bakes well. So this bakes for 40 minutes at 350 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in now and that'll be working while we get set up and started on our second recipe. See you in just a bit. All right, guys, we're back to start our second recipe. And this is keto pumpkin bread uh, by the website greenandketo.com. And this is a, a new uh, recipe developer for me, so I'm anxious to, to try this. Um, this is gonna be more traditional, like almost like a cake batter, because what we're gonna start with is creaming our sweetener and our um, softened butter. So the butter is at room temperature, as are the eggs. And she uh, says that that is very important that that, that that be the case. So I'm just gonna cream this real quick with this terrible uh, <laughs> hand mixer. I hate it. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so our um, uh, sugar and our sweetener and butter is creamed as well as we can. Now we're gonna slowly add in the eggs one at a time until this is all light and fluffy. So I'm gonna do that now. We're gonna add in a little bit of vanilla extract. And finally, our pumpkin puree. Again, I'm just using canned pumpkin puree. Um, this strangely makes a larger, a little bit larger loaf, but it has a little bit less pumpkin in it. I imagine that gives you some of the flavor without maybe as many of the carbs. Just make sure you get it all out of your measuring cup there. And now we're gonna combine this well. All right, so now let's talk about the dry ingredients here. Um, she says to, uh, in a separate bowl, to mix these together and to whisk them out. Um, you know me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sift them, y'all. Uh, so this is almond flour. To this, we're gonna add a little bit of coconut flour. So it's one, you know, it's um, parts of each. We're also gonna add in, I'm gonna go ahead and sift in all of our other things. This is baking powder and honestly quite a lot of it. Um, that's a lot of baking powder to me. <laughs> and then here are all the things that make it taste yummy. Our last recipe just had cinnamon. This has cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, 
ground cloves and uh, salt. So I'm gonna put all this here and then the easiest way to combine these things is to sift them all out together. So I'm gonna do that now. Now we're gonna add uh, the dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. So this is our creamed butter, sweetener, eggs, oops. And now let's mix all this in. So just slowly add all this. Okay, so the same thing applies here. This actually goes in a nine by five inch, not an eight and a half by four and a half. So that's what this is. And I've already greased the inside, but I'm gonna grease the paper now. So again, we'll lift this out after it's done. So I'm just gonna fill this up and top it. And then this is gonna bake um, at 350 degrees also for 45 to 55 minutes. And then, as you know, all these really need to cool before we cut them so that they can hold their, uh, hold their shape and, and, um, and tech have the correct texture before we taste them. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna throw this in the oven. Our other one is about to come out. The uh, alarm is about to ring. So if you hear something, that's what that is, is our other bread. So with an impeccably clean hand. All right, so this is gonna go in the oven for about 45 to 55 minutes. And then I will see you guys back here to test them and tell you what I think. I'll see you back here in five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, it's actually the next morning, so all of this has cooled overnight. I took them out of the pan, but dun, 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 aren't those beautiful? Now, you can see <laughs> the taller one is our second recipe, and the, the, the shorter one is our first recipe, but um, I wanna taste these, but before we do, let's talk about the nutrition of these. Now, both of these make 10 slices, and I think that's pretty generous considering the size of the loaf. So our first recipe, this is the um, Easy Keto Pumpkin Bread by HealthyRecipesBlogs.com. If you get 10 slices out of this, one slice is 164 calories. You've got uh, 12 grams of fat, seven grams of protein. You've got seven grams of total carbs, four grams of fiber for a, to uh, for an, a net carb count of three net carbs per slice. Okay, our second recipe, this is the Keto Pumpkin Bread by greenandketo.com. Uh, also makes 10 servings. One serving is 165 calories. You've got 14 grams of fat. You've got five grams of protein. You've got six total carbohydrates, three grams of fiber, again, for a net count of three net carbs. So really, they're the same calorie and the same uh, carb count, um, uh, really almost spot on. So uh, the question is, uh, which, which one's good? How do they taste? Uh, so let's cut, um, I'm gonna move them off of here real quick and let's cut our first guy. It held up well, the, the loaf looks pretty good and I had no trouble at all getting them out of the, out of the pan with thanks for the, oh, that looks good. Thanks to the, uh, what do you call it? The, paper, the parchment paper. Oh, it's very moist, very moist. Um, and now let's cut our, well, let's go ahead and test him. So that is super moist, rather dense, kind of cake-like. What does it taste like? Mm. It's good. Strong pumpkin flavor. <clears throat> you don't get a lot of the cinnamon flavor of it. That's good. It's a little almost pound cake like. Hmm. Very tasty. Okay, hold on. Okay, so let's taste our second loaf here. This guy is not as wet feeling. It is heavy though. He is dense. And I'm just gonna I don't like the the heel of the bread. Oh, that's a nice texture. That's a very nice texture. That is beautiful like the color of that too. And it also is, is very moist, um, very dense, which I mean, that's the hallmark of pumpkin bread. You're making it with, with a squash essentially. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm 
Okay, both of those were very good, but I definitely liked the second recipe better. I thought the texture was a little lighter and not quite as wet and dense, but also the depth of flavor. You really taste the warming spices of the nutmeg and the ginger and the cloves rather than the other bread, which just had cinnamon. And you don't, it doesn't overpower the pumpkin either. So if you're looking for that, you know, the, the quintessential pumpkin spice and pumpkin bread flavor, uh, I would stick with number two, the green and keto.com. So low carb pumpkin bread, can it be done? I guess it can guys. Uh, so make one of these and let me know what you think. If you have another recipe you like, let me know down below. Um, I will say that the one that I preferred is also the one that has like 4,800 now, 4,800 uh, positive reviews. So I guess, uh, I guess that the crowd likes it as well. So thank you guys for joining me. I say it every time. These videos are a way for me to maintain my low carb way of eating and looking in the end of that camera as often as I can helps keep me honest. So I appreciate that you have come along for the journey. Um, be sure to subscribe down below and hit that bell button. Uh, so you'll be notified as soon as I re uh, release a new video, hit the like button so that YouTube knows to recommend this video to other people who like to, to, um, to watch this type of content. So thank you guys so much. I need to say another thank you to my um, sponsor of this video Green Chef. Be sure to use the link down below. It's greenchef.us slash highfalutin125. You'll get $125 off across your first four boxes and free shipping on the first box. And lastly, I need to say thank you to uh, my rock stars my Patreon supporters, uh, you'll see their names start to scroll here. Without these guys, none of this would be possible. If you don't know what Patreon is, think of it as the uh, tip jar for the internet. It allows people like you who enjoy what people like me do here on YouTube. You give a dollar to a month just to sort of keep the train on the tracks as it were. So I love you guys. I'll see you very soon for another low carb video.